the vision that I had of my best self 10 years ago when I was 20, 21 looks completely different to the vision that I have now and it will have changed who knows how many more times over the next 10 years. That's the thing about this idea of the best version of yourself. As you continue to grow and evolve throughout your life, you will constantly notice things about yourself or your life that you'd like to improve on. Personal development isn't this final endpoint destination. It's a lifelong journey that you'll be going on. The first step to becoming that best version of yourself is to be that person. It's behaving, it's living, it's acting, it's speaking as though you already are that person. And this isn't about, you know, fake it till you make it, honey. It's about making sure that the way you act, the way that you live your life, the things that you do, all align with your aspirations and what you want from life. It's about manifesting the qualities, the traits, the habits that you desire by behaving as though you already have them. For example, I, for years, kept saying that I wanted to be one of those people that does loads of things with their spare time. You know, you see them all over YouTube, they have their morning routine before they go to work, they have their routine after they get home from work, they get so much done. And I would just watch it and be like, how are you doing that? How do you have so much time? Really, they have the same amount of time as me. <laughs> I wanted to start a business, I wanted to write a book, I wanted to start a YouTube channel. There were so many things that were just always on my to-do list, my want-to-do list. They were just always there. And yeah, every evening, there I was, climbing into bed with my laptop, sticking on Gilmore Girls, sticking on The Office, Friends, whatever it was, and my laptop would sit there and watch me watch TV until I fell asleep. Day after day after day, I would find myself just getting really cross and annoyed with myself because I knew there were so many things I wanted to do and I just couldn't do them didn't have the time to do them, wasn't capable of doing anything that I wanted to do. I kept using the excuse of, well, I'm a procrastinator, that's just who I am, and that's the end of it. I spent such a long time saying to anybody who would listen <laughs> that I couldn't do any of these things because I was just feeling creatively stifled. My creative juices just weren't flowing. What could I do? In reality, I just hadn't been setting myself up to be creative. The life that I was living was not conducive to be a creative person. So one evening, instead of getting into bed for my date with Gilmore Girls, I set up a little workstation on the desk and I sat there and I wrote. What I wrote that first evening was no good and I will never use any of it, but that's not the point. By acting as though I was this super successful, amazingly creative writer who had to sit at that desk because that first draft of the manuscript was, I had a deadline. I didn't. But by acting as though I did, I started building and developing the habits that one day could well lead me to becoming a writer. Before you can get started, you need to know who the best version of yourself is. Because if you're going to start acting, behaving as this version of yourself, you need to know exactly who that is, who you're going to become. To do this, you'll need to spend some time Know, looking inward. Literally get a pen and some paper, open the notes app on your phone, however you work best, and just write at the top, my best self. Think about the qualities and traits that this version of yourself possesses. Are they confident? Are they disciplined? Are they creative? Are they super motivated? Think about how this version of yourself, how your life looks. How do you spend your time? What do you enjoy doing? What does your daily routine look like? This step is so important because it really is your foundation for this whole journey of personal growth that you're about to go on. And remember, your best is about you. It's about you and you alone. It's not about what other people think. It's not about what other people want for you. And it's definitely not about comparing yourself to anybody else. Visualization is going to be a powerful tool in your kit throughout this journey. It involves regularly picturing, visualizing yourself as this best version of you. In this vision, you're not thinking the best self would do this, my best self would do that. In this vision, you are that. This you are the best version of yourself. So you envisage yourself as though you've already achieved these goals that you're setting. 
you're already leading the life that you want to live. Regularly repeating this visualization exercise is important because every time it will reinforce why you're doing this and also your commitment to doing it. Now that you've got the vision of your best self, it's time to start thinking about the behaviours and the actions that align with that vision. Because it's vital that you remember, change will only begin with action. You will only bring change to yourself or to your life by doing. Say for example that this best version of yourself is super confident. How do you become that confident person if that's not how you feel about yourself at the moment? You start making an effort to portray confident body language. You start being more aware of how you hold yourself. Start putting out confident body language energy out into the world. You stand up straight. You maintain eye contact when you're talking to somebody. You speak with complete assurance and conviction to show everybody else and yourself that you have complete faith in what you're saying. Or maybe this best version of yourself is a healthier version of you. Maybe you start time blocking slots in your day to think about meal planning. Maybe you start focusing on your sleep. So you amend your schedule in a way that makes sure you're getting enough sleep every night. Or maybe you commit to a daily movement or exercise routine. Whatever your goals are, whoever it is that you want to be, the key here is to be consistent because the more you practice these actions, the more you repeat these actions, the quicker they will become part of who you are. And again, this is an, an overnight transformation. It's about gradual and consistent progress. And over time, these actions will just become second nature to you. You'll be embodying these qualities, these traits, these habits of your ideal self without even having to think about it. We'll take a second here to acknowledge that change isn't easy and you shouldn't expect this to be a super simple easy process you will face challenges resistance setbacks along the way and that's to be expected none of these things are a reason to stop or to give up on yourself or your journey you might for example start doubting yourself you might start doubting whether you actually have what it takes to become this best version of yourself but all self-doubt is is just a thought in your head and you can change those thoughts Replace that doubt with reminders of why you're doing this and the progress that you've already made so far. Even if that progress is simply you deciding to make this commitment to yourself to change and improve your life, that is still huge progress. Or maybe you're feeling scared that you might fail and that you would rather just not try at all. But the first thing that you need to understand about that thought is that failure is a completely natural, normal part of this process. Start looking at and embracing failure for what it is. An opportunity to learn, not a roadblock that you can't get over. Failure is a part of growth and it is actually probably through failure that you will have your greatest aha moments. Something will go wrong and you will learn how to deal with it. And there will always be something that you take from that process. The environment that you're in and the people that you choose to surround yourself with are going to have a massive impact on your journey. So choose wisely. Start finding people, whether that's friends, mentors, colleagues, whoever you have any kind of relationship with, who align with the goals you want to achieve and the person you aspire to be. Surround yourself with people who can encourage you, who can keep you motivated, or who can just help you along the way. You need people in your life who are going to help keep you on track and keep you accountable when it comes to achieving your goals. You want to be in the rooms where people have already achieved the things you want to achieve or they are actively working towards the same kind of goals as you are. You want to be in the rooms where the conversations that are being had are interesting and relevant to this version of yourself. You might find that this means releasing some of the relationships that you currently have in your life. As you grow, as you evolve, you might find yourself growing out of situations, places, relationships that you think you'd have forever. It's up to you to choose who and what you surround yourself with. These decisions can be hard to make, but ultimately they are an essential part of your journey. Taking the time to measure your progress to implement any adjustments 
is key to making sure that you continue to progress along this journey. As time passes, you'll want to make sure that the things that you're doing are actually making a difference. Self-reflection is an essential part of any personal development journey. So make sure you're asking yourself questions like, am I closer to achieving my goals than I was this time last month? What new habits and behaviours have I implemented over the last 30 days? Be flexible in your approach, be open and receptive to change, and don't be discouraged by any setbacks or challenges that you face along the way. If you take one thing from this entire video, I hope it's this. The fact that you are actively seeking to grow and improve is already huge and you should be proud of yourself. Personal growth of any kind takes time and it takes effort. It's a lifelong journey. You need to be focusing on the progress you're making rather than striving for perfection. So start today, take small steps and be patient with yourself. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you would like to go over what we've covered in more detail, I will leave details of next steps in the description box. I'll see you soon. Nailed it.